Hello everyone, this is Jeff of Tal Flater Mouse. Can you alloy lead and gallium together? This is a question a viewer named Matt asked me a while back, and I wanted to show him what happens. Now we'll just take a few grams of gallium and put it on the surface of the molten lead. Now this should be more than enough gallium to really demonstrate whether or not the two metals will alloy. Now when the entire mass cools down and solidifies, the lead will become a very dull gray. The gallium, on the other hand, should remain very bright. Now if the two metals do not alloy together, we should be able to see a very distinct blob of, of gallium still on the surface, or possibly the gallium will spread across the entire surface and create a very shiny layer. Here I'm just mixing it together and we'll see if this is enough to create our lead gallium alloy. Now if you can mix these two metals together, the end result should be you have a compound that will have a lower melting point than the original melting point of the lead. And of course if you add a higher ratio of gallium to the lead, your melting point is going to be lower and lower. Now we'll just let it cool naturally and this occurs over a period of about 12 minutes. The mass becomes duller and duller and actually shrinks a little bit as it cools down. But we aren't seeing any pockets of gallium or anything like that so it looks like we have created a new alloy. Now I, I just cooled it down with a little bit of water just to speed things up here but it's still uh, well above the melting point of gallium and we definitely don't see any puddles or surface covered with the gallium. So yes, Matt, you can create a gallium lead alloy. I hope you found this video interesting. Thanks for watching.